This is a day that ladies love. I've just wanted to put together some ideas of what I think can help take a very normal Valentine's Day and turn it into something absolutely incredible. It doesn't have to cost the earth, it doesn't have to be mega expensive, and just make somebody that you're with totally understand how special they are to you. I kind of have some ideas of what I would secretly love for Valentine's Day. You're always gonna love that kind of surprise at work. You have red roses, um, balloons, chocolates, teddy bears, perfume. Receiving that special Valentine's treat is always a lovely thing. Also a really nice thing to do is to hide love notes um, about where you know she's going to be. So maybe in a handbag, in her shoes, and on each one that she finds it's like a kind of trail of breadcrumbs. So one might say, I love your smile. Um, another could say, I love the freckle that's just above your elbow. Um, everything that you love about her. I love the way you snore like a baby lamb. Things like that, like really heartfelt little things you can just discover as she goes on until she comes home to you. And then when she gets home, something really romantic, um, like fragrant petals in the bath. Anything that you have where you've kind of made a special treat for her that you wouldn't normally do. Make a mixtape of all of her favourite songs. Things that she listened to as a teenager, your favourite song together if you have a wedding song, things like that. You can put that all together and just play that softly in the background and you know when you hear music that really it touches your heart and it means so much to you, you just think oh my god that's lovely and she will literally just melt. And I think Valentine's Day is about being loving and tender and in showing somebody why you love them and what you know about them doing everything you know they like and what pleases them so to take a bath together I think the most lovely thing is to feel skin on skin so to wash each other with soap to, to just run your fingers together and to just feel each other is just beautiful like to to talk and touch hands is I don't know for women it's it's a connection kind of share yourself with somebody just scoop her up in your arms and hold her close and run your hands through her hair because it feels lovely when people run their hands through your hair and kiss her on the forehead then take her downstairs and make a dinner so either something that you've cooked yourself or something that's a takeaway whether it's a pot noodle that she's absolutely addicted to or it's champagne and lobsters as long as it's her favorite meal then that's what makes it so special you could put on a dvd perhaps so you could hire a film or you could watch something that's on tv lots of love films and things like that that actually make you realize wow i'm so lucky to have found the love of my life strawberries dipped in chocolate with champagne um, ice cream whipped cream body cream you know there's so many things you could do um, or just have her favorite treats so her favorite sweets if that's penny sweets or bonbons everything is thought out and you take her back to where you first met um, whether that's in a park or on a playground if you've known her for a long time um, you take her there and you say my life began when you stepped into it and you're my world and you're my everything and oh you just let it all out and if you want to cry on her then that's a bit strange but you can still cry but just let her realise exactly what she means to you. I really love the idea of writing a letter or having a memory box where you keep all the special things together um, from your time of however long you've been together. So whether it's like a bus ticket from when you were young before you drove um, and you would take the bus to go and meet her, um, cinema stubs, holiday fridge magnets, trinkets that you keep over the years that you think oh my god I didn't think you remembered that put it all together make a scrapbook there is a pressure to kind of propose if you've been with somebody for a while I think something like an eternity ring is such an important thing to give to somebody because it's not an engagement it's not a wedding it's not a pair of earrings to say I want to be with you forever and you mean the world to me whether you want to do it with diamonds and spend hundreds of thousands if you want something a little bit more middle ground you can go for Swarovski crystals something that wouldn't break the bank is maybe cubic zirconia so you could spend even 20 pounds on a ring and it's priceless to her because it's the, the memories and the thought that counts. You don't have to break the bank to show somebody how much they mean to you. If you do really want to kind of add some extra special things to it and, and go all out on presents, I think a lovely thing to do is to name a star after somebody, a pair of 
her favourite shoes, special jewellery, a weekend retreat to a spa, or to go on holiday together, you know, pull out like plane tickets and go, surprise, we're going to Paris. So I think something that every couple should do is make a bucket list. And that's things that you want to do together. Um, and you plan like every year to do one thing from the list or as many as you can. Plan a mountain together, to go to the Bahamas, learn to cook a special meal together and things like that. When you meet somebody who makes you happy, who makes you smile and touches your heart, then be yourself because that's who they've fallen in love with and that's what they want. Just appreciate and love those around you and make sure that they know how much you love them. And I'll just be drowning my sorrows alone. <laughs>